A diverse student population with a wide range of interests needs a history department that can deliver. At York University in Toronto, the Department of History prides itself in covering a diverse range of fields, from Africa to Islam, the classical world to Canada. At York University, the history department has something for everyone. We're always looking to serve the community, and I think that's one of the hallmarks of our department, the fact that we are socially uh, responsive to, to, to changing trends uh, and to the changing population of this city. Our department very much likes to cross traditional boundaries, even though, you know, in a way we all define ourselves by our field, I think most of us like to think across those divisions. One of the strengths of our department is obviously the faculty that we've drawn together. It's a large and diverse group that does very interesting history. But even more interesting, in some ways, are the graduate students that we've drawn together. A community of students who are diverse in their interests, extremely uh, innovative in the work that they do, and who have been remarkably successful in getting jobs after they leave here. So I think we're doing something right for them. But we've created an environment where some quite unusual topics can be studied. So there's a range of really interesting work that's done by some very creative graduate students and, and they're known for coming out of our program for their creativity and for their ability to advance the, the world of historical scholarship in quite interesting ways. It's this creativity among York students that has given birth to two graduate initiatives, a website called activehistory.ca and Left History, a peer review journal. Left History is a peer review journal published out of the Department of History and features a variety of topics featuring leftist uh, perspectives, Marxist perspectives on uh, a variety of historical topics. And the second project is the activehistory.ca website, which seeks to take peer-reviewed knowledge, previously published material, and distribute it to a broader historical audience through our website, aiming at the general public, policymakers, and uh, educators who might be interested in a variety of issues. Hosting conferences is another aspect of the department's commitment to public history. This three-day event on global football has attracted a mix of historians, journalists, sports officials, and football fans debating how football has shaped societies and altered political and economic relations. The subtitle of our conference is History, Gender, Nation, and in posing those three terms together and bringing them together in some kind of critical, um, critical dynamic, critical conversation, we're also interested in the ways that social forces, like the social construction of gender, uh, who gets to play, who's considered an athlete, in what conditions women and men uh, are encouraged, permitted, allowed, disallowed to play, uh, itself is a social historical process. I think the conference also addresses you know, one of the, the research aims of, of our department and indeed the teaching aims of our department to make public history. So in order to do that, I think we, you know, we have chosen subjects that might attract a, a wider audience to the study of history. And I think that sport is actually a really good example of that. Since 2009, York University has become the new home of the Ontario Archives a rich resource of government and private records. On campus, too, is the Harriet Tubman Institute for Research on the Global Migrations of African Peoples, a digitalized research facility that focuses on the history of the African diaspora. We believe in the Institute that it is important for people of African descent to know their history, to have access to that history, and to make it a part of their daily lives. So we do our best to contribute to that effort. We've been heavily involved in the digitizing of endangered archives in more than a dozen countries around the world, uh, which are very relevant to our understanding of the history of African peoples. Many of these projects have been conducted by our own graduate students, often in teams, who, from workshops that we hold here, then go out and do research. This rich range of resources, research opportunities, and courses has ensured that the Department of History at York University is rated one of the best places for studying history in Canada, giving students and faculty the opportunity to explore the subject on a much broader level. The conception of history that I came into York with is not the one I'm leaving with, and that it's a very good thing. I've had the opportunity to really realize that there are topics that I want to study, and those topics I can study.